Hey, what is going on guys? So today we're going to be taking a look at the most recent Marvel Legends figures I've picked up here. Today we have the full wave of the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 figures. There is a shot of the front of the packaging for the Kraglin and the Mantis figures. As we go through, I will show off the front, the back, and the sides of the packaging for all figures. I am pretty behind on this wave, so I am glad to finally have all these figures. I did pick up the Deluxe Groot quite a while back, so I am keen to, of course, get all these figures together on the shelf. The next figures after that are Drax and Rocket. Again, taking a look at the front and the back of the packaging. And the last three figures are Star-Lord, Adam Warlock, and Nebula. And the builder figure for this wave is Cosmo. Really cool to get a full wave of these characters and also the builder figure. I have seen a few complaints just with the lack of accessories and the size of the builder figure. I do understand that of course for this wave, but we'll get into all that as we do have all the figures out of the packaging. So we'll go ahead now and get all the figures out of the packaging and take a look at everything they do come with. And here we have all the figures laid out with all the accessories that they do come with up front. Just first impressions standing there, they do all look really good. Really cool to see the uniform design across all these figures. None of these figures have any interchangeable hands or head sculpts like we do usually see. So that's of course the main lack of accessories for all these figures. The Kraglin does come with the arrow, which does have the effect piece behind it. I do think that is really cool in the first time I have had this. He does also come with his dagger there and then the leg for the Builder figure. Mantis doesn't come with any accessories besides the Builder figure piece. Drax comes with his two daggers and the other leg for the Builder figure. Rocket has his gun there and also the Builder figure torso piece with the head on the figure. Star-Lord has his two blasters there. Adam Warlock comes with the space helmet and the tail for the Builder figure. And Nebula comes with her three weapons and the Builder figure leg piece also. As I mentioned, the accessory is a bit light for what they do usually do. But moving over to the figures themselves, I do think these all look great here. Really great head sculpts in my opinion across all these figures. There's a lot of painted detail, especially on a lot of these smaller parts over the figure. A lot of times we do see pieces here and there do get skipped. So I think they've done a really great job on these figures. And that does go across all figures, which is great to see. So some really nice detail pieces and pretty good paint work over all figures also. And like I mentioned, I really like the uniform costume look for all figures. Really cool to see them all in their Guardians design. Really terrific head sculpts across all these figures. This is probably the best, if not one of the best, Star-Lord head sculpts we do have. I do only have the other Star-Lord from the Thor Love and Thunder wave, which that one alone is quite controversial. But this one by far is definitely one of, if not my favourite. And then the final two are the Adam Warlock and the Nebula figures, both looking really great. Again, some really nice detail on these figures. The sculpt work and the painting does look great overall. Again, I think it's just the lack of accessories which does let this wave down. So that there is this full wave and everything that they do come with. Like I said, I do already have the Deluxe Groot. So I'll go ahead now and I'll pose up all these figures with the accessories that they do have and I'll put this Builder figure together also. And here we do have all the figures with their accessories in hand. We did get the Builder figure together also. Cosmo himself I do think is done quite well. This one also has a lot of really great painted details. So at the end of the day, I am happy with the way he has turned out. Yes, I do still agree, a bit small for what we do usually get for a Builder figure. But overall, I do think this wave has turned out pretty well. They are all looking really great there once they do have all their accessories in hand. So I think they are all looking pretty great there now that they have all been posed up. Like I said, I'm really happy to finally get this wave. I cannot wait to get these ones on the shelf. Like I've mentioned a few times, slowly playing catch up with a lot of these figures. I do have some more Spider-Man related stuff coming also, so we'll see that in a coming video. But as always, thank you all for watching. I do really appreciate it. Let me know what you do think below, and I'll catch you in the next one.